If there's a paradise on Earth for salmon, a wild place without hatcheries and dams, it's in Bristol Bay, Alaska. The Bristol Bay region is home to the largest sockeye salmon fishery in the world. Each year, more than 30 million fish return to its vast network of tributaries to reproduce and die, to feed humans and wildlife alike, completing a cycle of renewed life unchanged since the beginning of time. Unchanged until now. At the headwaters of Bristol Bay's two most important sockeye rivers, a foreign mining group called the Pebble Partnership hopes to build the largest copper mine in North America. Pebble claims the mine can be built responsibly, but recent scientific findings point to a dark future for the sockeye if the mine goes in. The proposed Pebble mine would create one of the largest holes on Earth, pit 4,000 feet deep and two and a half miles wide. The mine would produce 10 billion tons of waste, 3,000 pounds for every person on the planet. The waste would be stored behind earthen dams, 740 feet tall, as tall as the Golden Gate Bridge, filling three headwater valleys with toxic mine tailings. In these pristine headwaters, salmon find ideal spawning areas in small winding streams. New scientific findings show clearly that clean headwaters are critical to these spawning grounds. 12,000 years ago, the glaciers that covered Bristol Bay and its tributaries left deep porous soils behind. As a result, rain and snow melt seep through the loose earth feeding a dynamic groundwater system that starts in the high basins and flows back up into the streams below. In winter, this upwelling of constant temperature groundwater into streams keeps the spawning beds ice-free. The salmon eggs nestled in the gravel never freeze and continue to grow nourished by oxygen-rich groundwater. Come spring, the salmon fry hatch and head downstream towards Bristol Bay. But what if the pebble mine is built in the very basins where the surface water enters the system? The water balance could shift dramatically and fatally for the salmon. Enormous waste ponds filled with crushed mine rock could form a partial seal, greatly reducing the amount of water entering the ground in the streams below. Spawning areas would freeze and salmon eggs would die. When the water eventually seeps through the waste, it will carry copper in concentrations hazardous to salmon. Copper in the system would affect salmon through their sense of olfaction at essentially all of their life stages. At high concentrations, copper kills fish. At lower concentrations, can affect their sense of smell. It's essential for adults to find their way home. It plays a role in reproduction, the avoidance of predators by juveniles. So the sense of smell is extremely important to salmon. I have over 30 years experience with salmon, and I am certain that if anything like this kind of project went forward, the salmon runs would diminish. In this unique setting, even a smoothly operating mine could spell disaster for the salmon. The groundwater that now protects the salmon will likely doom it if the mine is built. When the copper is gone and the pebble partnership leaves, the waste ponds and a toxic pit lake will sit above Bristol Bay forever, leaching toxins into the groundwater and streams. The science is clear. Thank you.